You know, you know how they say if you send an email, politicians think like five people care, but if you send a, a handwritten letter, politicians think a thousand people care, etc. So I think that for this like group of like five to ten sex worker activists, we we made things look we we we, we looked really big. Mm -hmm. I think we we made things we stirred a lot of muck for that. And uh, our main message around AIDS uh, was uh, just to make sure that uh, women and men who worked the streets had the civil rights to make good decisions, to protect their health, um, that they had the resources to do that. Um, and ultimately, decriminalization would facilitate both of those things. And that you had to listen to the sex workers in order to work with them. You couldn't just, like, study them. Um, that wasn't going to help because you don't even know the answer. And you couldn't implement it if you tried. So, obviously, you need to work with the people. Um, and that was a no-brainer. And there were, there were sex worker activists from Southeast Asia, from South Asia, from... Australia, from all kinds of places, all saying the same thing. Like, you have to talk to us. We have organizations. Um, we're already here, like, um, but you have to collaborate. You, you can't just, like, come in and take our blood and leave, like, uh, so which would have been happening. Um, but that message was sadly quite radical at the time.